Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to show you how to fix a receptacle that does not work and it reads open hot. When I plug my tester in, there are no lights lit, and when I look at the wiring indications chart on the tester, it says open hot. This is a very dangerous situation. Now let's plug it in on another outlet on the same circuit and you see that this one is correctly wired because it has two green lights lit on the wiring indications chart. So there is electricity in this circuit but our indication is no lights and that means open hot. That means that there may be a broken or loose hot wire in this box. That's why this situation is extremely dangerous. If you are not very experienced with electrical work, my recommendation is to call an electrician because this one is really dangerous. It's a situation where you could open up this box thinking that the electricity is off because there's no indication here on your tester. But actually there is an indication. It's no lights and that means open high. This is my Klein voltage detector. It is showing electricity in the first box in the circuit here. And it detects all the way down to 12 volts AC. So it's a good one to use on the outside of a receptacle it's because, because it's very sensitive. We're not showing anything over here though. But that does not mean that there isn't a hot wire in there because the, the broken wire may be far enough back in the box that it doesn't read on this tester. I'll test my flute voltage detector as well. So we know that, that both of these testers are working properly. So we're unable to detect any electricity in this box, but proceed with extreme caution. My advice before working on this box is to turn off all the electricity to the house. Because if you just turn off the circuit breaker, you may get the incorrect circuit breaker. See, you have no indication that the electricity is on so you won't get any indication when you turn off one circuit breaker that this is the correct circuit breaker to turn off. Okay, I've turned off all the electricity to the house. I'm going to take out the outlet tester and I'm going to remove the wall plate and the receptacle. This is my fluke voltage detector that I've tested on a known live circuit earlier to make sure it works and I'm just double checking the box to make sure that everything is off. Okay, here's the broken hot wire right here. This is what's causing the problem. It broke off right here. Examine the wire, make sure there's no nicks in the insulation and so forth. Make sure it's still good. Now I'll cut a new end here. Strip a new end on the wire. The black wire always goes to one of the bronze terminals. You put it right in there like that and tighten up the terminal. Before we proceed, let's make sure the neutral wire is connected very well and there's no nick in the neutral wire. We can see that the ground wires are well connected. This uh, woggle is a woggle lever nut and you see that all three of the ground wires are all the way in. Back here you can see that the box is bonded. So all the wiring is good now. Now I'll take some black electrician's tape and wrap it around the receptacle a couple of times for safety. Now dress the wires, which means to put the appropriate bends in the wires, and tighten down the box and then put on the wall plate. I have turned the electricity to the house back on, that is all the circuit breakers, and I'm going to use my outlet tester and it shows, this time it shows two green lights, which indicates correct wiring. And once again, I'll check the other receptacle on the circuit and it also shows two green lights and all of the outlets show two green lights. So now we're properly wired. We have fixed an extremely dangerous situation of open hot, which was causing this receptacle to not work. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 117 electrician's meter. I'll put links for the Wago lever nets in the two, three, and five connector sizes. 
And I'll put a link for the Fluke voltage detector. And last but not least, I'll put a link for the Ideal Circuit Breaker Finder Kit, which includes a transmitter, which is an excellent outlet tester as well. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.